Hi everyone and welcome to Closet Conversations. I have a much anticipated video for you this week. It's something that I've been asked about time and time again and I think I'm the perfect person to talk about it because I used to work at Coach and I'm a big fan of Louis Vuitton. I am a collector of both brands and um, <clears throat> so it's a comparison video between Coach and Louis Vuitton and I don't want to hear anything from the snobs that there's no comparison between Louis Vuitton and Coach. For people to like both, clearly there is, and I'm going to get into it. Now, if you're new here, I'm Gianna. I put out videos on Mondays and Fridays. On Mondays, I do Mommy Mondays. On Fridays, I do Closet Conversations. So I've been a little delinquent here and there, but I'm back on track now. Um, if you like the content that I put out, Mondays we talk about all things mommy, Fridays we talk about fashion, luxury, art, a uh, little bit of this, a little bit of that. We just let the conversation go where it takes us. If you like that kind of content, please go ahead and subscribe down below. If you think you know somebody else who would like that content, go ahead and share. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, please tell me in the comments why not and we'll see if we can work it out for you. As usual, I'm going to ask you to join the conversation in the comments because that is how I know what you like and what you respond to and that is what helps to, you know, navigate the channel, um, inform the channel. Anyhow, so you notice I've started with the small and other goods in my hands. These are the ones that I'm about to talk to you about because I think it's imperative in any conversation. I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible, but it is very hard because those two are big powerhouses in the leather goods uh, realm of things. So, I love to call Coach affordable luxury. Obviously, Louis Vuitton is a luxury house. We know the history of both brands, don't we? Um, Bonnie Cashkin or something like that, she... Um, used the baseball glove leather to make leather goods back in the 1940s, I want to say, in America. So Coach is very Americana. Louis Vuitton traveled two years on foot to his, uh, to the person who he apprenticed for, um, who was a trunk maker, um, luggage maker, and then he branched out on his own. This was in France, right? So one is French, one is American. Now, Louis Vuitton is most known for their canvas with the LVs all over it. Um, this is a Josephine wallet, I believe. It had the color um, button, and they were fixing these until they decided that the, the colors were coming off too fast. So now if I get it fixed, they would just put a gold button. I don't want a gold button. I like the green because the green corresponded with the inside. Right? So, um, so I've left mine aged. I don't mind when, when my things show age. I know a lot of people like their things to stay new, but I don't mind. Now let's start with the quality. <clears throat> so they seal their edges at Louis Vuitton as well as at Coach. I'll show you in a minute. <clears throat> this is leather on the inside with canvas. It was hot stamped. I don't think they did such a great job on the hot stamping because if you see there, it looks kind of smudged. But once you've hot stamped something, you can't get a new one. I mean, although I could have probably made a case for the fact that they messed this up and gotten a new one, but um, I had them do it online, like, and ship it to me. I had ordered this online. So, um, yeah, I just didn't bother with the foolishness. I think I already lived in Jamaica by then, so it's just too much to get it back and blah, 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 too much backing up for things. So I kept it. Um, I like this wallet. I don't use it very much because, um, it does have this removable pouch that you can keep coins in or you can put something else in where it goes. Um, it only had four card slots and then it had this big part where you could, but what are you going to put in there? Because anything you put in there, if it's not flat, it would get bulky. So this wallet, I mean, I used it a lot at the time, but yeah, but I had to find reasons to like, it wasn't easy. It wasn't an easy use. It wasn't, it didn't suit my lifestyle. 
very much. I don't think. But it wasn't very expensive back then either. It was a long time ago. Um, and I mean, that's relative, right? Because everything from Louis Vuitton is very expensive for whatever time you buy it in. But at that time, it just didn't, it wasn't a lot to me. Now, of course, you all know my Yayoi Kusama. I'm just showing you these for reference to show you that they line inside with leather, right? And the edges are always sealed. And then this one has an interesting pull that goes with the theme, right? So the quality is there, right, on these. Like, everybody's been complaining that Louis Vuitton quality has been going down. And in terms of the feel of the canvas, the thick of the, the thickness of the canvas, they're right. <clears throat> because it's not how it was. But still, I don't have a problem with these things. I mean, okay, fine. So this one, the button, if the button didn't, they should have found a way for the button to not do that. So that would be a quality issue, I find. But like with this, I use this every day since I got it. I stopped using it last week. And it's quite fine. There's no chipping. So I'm not mad at this piece. Um, now, when I talk about Coach being affordable luxury, though, here is what I mean. This wallet I bought recently... Um, and I bought it because it's the same wallet as Louis Vuitton has a Lisa wallet. I do not have that because I don't duplicate the things in my wardrobe if I can help it. So yes, I have three mini pochettes and I have, um, like, like the, the pochette Matisse and the Cassie, Cassie by Coach, right? I've done a video on that. Um, so those are pretty much the same thing, but they're not the same. They're very similar. Um, so yes, I have that. But now, now, if I can help it, I said that we're not duplicating items anymore, right? So now if I can help it, I don't buy the same thing. So the Lisa wallet is what actually caught my eye from Louis Vuitton. You'd have to look that one up. Um, and I remember saying, you know, it's a lot of money to spend on it. For a compact wallet but a compact wallet is so handy because it goes into all the littlest bags and I have a lot of little bags so I said you know what I need a compact wallet but then when I looked at the Lisa I did extensive research online I have never held one in my hand um, I noticed that inside had four card slots and I said you know what if I'm gonna do the Lisa, I would need it to have six card slots because um, this one here, this um, card case here has four card slots already. One, two, three, and then this one, four. And it has a zipper part. So the only thing that separates this from the Lisa wallet, which is just like this, is the bill compartment here which I typically just fold the bills and put them in here. Although I hate folding bills. I think it has something to do with how you attract money and stuff. And I think they should stay unfolded. We can have another video on that one day. Um, right. So I don't like to fold them. So I really wish they did this with the, the bill compartment. And then they did the Lisa wallet, which is this with the bill compartment because it has the same four slots. So I was like, but I already have this. I wouldn't spend all that money on something so similar. So then I said, the only way I'll get it is if it has six. So it doesn't have six, but then I walked into coach the other day and I found this. And if you know anything about me, you know that I'm in love with this color because it's green and it's a true, true green. It's beautiful, right? I'm using it right now, as you can see. And um, it's sealed on the corners, just like Louis Vuitton, like the edges, just like Louis Vuitton. And it has the same zip pocket um, that the Lisa wallet would have. It opens the same way, but instead of two here and two here, which would have made four, it has extra two. So that makes six. And then, of course, I got it hot stamped, right? And it is leather through and through. And it has the pockets here, right? And the bill compartment. And I was just like, 
this is what I wanted for a fraction of the price and um, and in the color that I love so it was a win 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 there was no brainer there were some other things in the store that I liked um, but remember that I'm being very economical because I'm trying to make sure that my son has everything he needs and he's enjoying his life as he should and he's getting the experiences that I want him to have and um, and my house is still under construction, guys, and that takes so much money. So, um, even though I don't need another wallet, I really did want this one because the other one that I was looking at was the Lisa, which is maybe 10 times the price of what I paid for this. So, that's why I say Coach is affordable luxury because you can pretty much get something similar, if not the same, if not better. Because, like, this is better, in my opinion, because you get two more slots. Um... And just like the Cassie, I think is better than the Pochette Matisse. So sometimes you get better for the affordable price um, from Coach. So that's my, and if you see the, the leather is a pebbled leather. It's really nice. Now, when you get leather in Louis Vuitton, it typically is, do I have leather? Well, I have a Epi leather one here. Oh, this one is real dusty, guys. Because I had it on my shelf. I haven't dusted it in a little while. But, yeah. But Epi Leather is typically what I used to get when I used to get. I don't, I, you know, in trying to find the things to do this video, I noticed something about myself. I don't have a lot of Coach Leather products. Like, I have, I guess the SLGs are all leather. But, like, I shopped a lot at Coach. I worked at Coach. I love Coach. I have a lot of the other things, like anything that's not normal, something seasonal, something limited edition. I don't have many leather pieces from Coach, which is the opposite for Louis. Like with Louis, I have a lot of their leather pieces and, um, and well, I have everything, kind of everything canvases too because remember I like the limited editions anyway but I do have a lot of leather more leather pieces in Louis than I do in coach which surprised me a lot because Louis Vuitton leather pieces uh traditionally now I think they've brought them closer in price to the canvas but back in the day to get leather from Louis versus canvas from Louis there was a huge disparity like huge in price um, which means I spent a whole lot of money back in the day. Um, thank goodness I don't do that anymore. Um, I've grown up. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I find that their epi leather is what I have a lot of. And those pieces are all very, very durable, very strong, very hardy. Now, one of the coach leather pieces that I decided to take out. Now, remember I told you that SLGs have a lot of... Um, I have a lot of SLGs in leather. Now, I found one because, remember, we're doing the good, bad, the ugly. We're being very honest about this whole situation with Coach and LV in terms of the quality. So just like how the button on that one, there was a time, I don't know, I'm hearing that they're still doing it, which is a problem for them and for their consumers, a.k.a. me. Because, like, this was really cute, right? It was just a little card case. And you can see that I used it quite a bit because it's wearing where the snap is, right? But like when I, I stopped using this not because I wanted to stop using it. I stopped using it because it ended up cracking inside. And that tells me that inside was not real leather. So, um, yeah, I buy Coach because it's leather goods, not because... It's not so that is a problem and remember I sell coach products and I found a few that had similar cracking that I had couldn't sell um, because of that I don't know what card this is oh epic and Jamaica um, oh wow it even has a picture of me on there and my date of birth oh yeah because this is like my prescriptions go through there so this shouldn't even be in here I need that Right, so, um, so, right, so this was really cute. I used to use it all the time as a card case, as, like, my Epicam card was in there, I guess. This probably had all my health stuff in it at one point before I changed over. But, um, 
yeah nobody wants that nobody no and and if you like luxury like me you don't want it but this is still cute so I don't even know what I can do about the inside of it you know they have this new thing called coachtopia where they repair stuff and whatever I should just bring this next time and be like dude this is not on so yeah so in terms of quality those are the little issues that I find with with them um also with coach quality since we're on it I was gonna get to the leather the leather bag that I have from coach well I'll do that then and then go back into no I'm not doing that just stick a pin for the leather quality right so remember that the Louis Vuitton leather is super durable and we like it. I mean, it is prone to creasing though. See, this is what I mean by we, the conversation goes everywhere. The Epi is prone to creasing, um, but that's just considered a feature of the actual particular leather when you wear it over time. And remember, I don't have, really have a problem with my things looking worn because I wear them. Um, I don't use them just to sit on a shelf or anything. Although a lot of them end up sitting on the shelf because I have so many of everything that, you know, they don't get in the rotation as often as they should. Now, um, also speaking to coach, coach quality, I have this never full um, Louis Vuitton, but then, you know, coach has a tote bag. It's a reversible tote that... Um, that is also out of canvas. It would be like the answer to the Louis Vuitton Never Fall. I think it's pretty similar in, similar all, all around, right? It's a tote. Now, um, <clears throat> when this Never Fall came out, Louis Vuitton was not doing Never Fall pouches yet. So there was no pouch with this. When these totes came on the market, they did come with the pouch. Um, however, they no longer do that. And this is a newer one, so this one doesn't have a pouch either. I just always got left with no pouch. <laughs> and it's okay because there's only one pouch I end up using, and it's the one, the one from the GM Hobo because it's small enough. I found the Never Full pouch a little too flat, a little too large. Anyway, so I don't have one anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I actually do have one for one of my other bags, but I don't use it. Um... I've never used it. I probably should sell it. Anyway, um, now with this, you would think it's com comparable and everything like that. Um, and it is. Um, both are reversible. One reverses to fabric, though, and the other one reverses to a similar canvas on the, on the inside, right? And it even has the logo for when you flip it so that it can look the same inside and outside, you see? Um, which I think is a great touch, but I've sold a gajillion of these with the pouch without the pouch because I've been selling coach for a very long time and I can tell you the one thing that drives me nuts about them versus what Louis Vuitton has is Louis Vuitton has a bottom that is placed in and piped around so it forms a structure and it's reinforced right so any problems that you're gonna have Oh, there's something on the bottom of this. Oh, right. So any problems that you're going to have with this is going to be really like uh, rubbing on the corners and it'll get dirty on the bottom. But with this one now, the problems that you'll have is because they folded it in rather than doing it the other way where you put in a bottom so basically this looks like this is one continuous piece of canvas and then the sides are another that just fold over and stitch that's what it looks like to me i know there's a seam here oh so maybe it's not continuous maybe it's one piece one piece and then this comes over but you see what happens with it is there's that fold there at each corner and you see, so each corner kind of has this, worn or not worn, from you buy it in the store, like, it has this because people handle it and try it on. And so the corners, you can see that they're not going to stand up over time. So in terms of quality or what will serve you longer, 
it will definitely be the never full in terms of you know the rubbing I, I mean if you don't even have the print you wouldn't see the rubbing so the rubbing is like very minimal anyway it's like chipping of the paint if you have a painted one or whatever that is now the thing about that is that if you like a print from coach like I love this print can I live with that sure I can because it's just the corner and um, I can just try to use it less or whatever the case is now the the real reason is if you really love the print like the price point is totally different between the two purses now I don't remember the prices. That's why we don't talk about prices that much on this channel. But um, this one is likely to be, well, this is a limited edition, so you can't talk about it. So let's talk at retail. At retail, this one is likely to be um, maybe, yeah, maybe about eight times less than the Neverfull, right? So now for eight times less, I think you can still get this one if it is that you're okay with eventually your corners looking pretty shabby. I don't know what you'd do about that, though. Now, I'm not okay with it. <laughs> as much as I say, oh, I can live with it. I'm not. So, truth be told, I've never actually worn this bag. <laughs> this bag. Because I love this bag so much. I think it's so pretty. Um, maybe I should sell it. You know, I've posted it a few times, and then when someone shows interest, I just say, it's not for sale, or it's gone already. I'm too bad. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. So, that's up to you guys. Um, I have three Neverfulls, though, and I have no issue with the corners with those. So, I know. Now, back to my leather versus coach leather. Now... It is not fair to compare these two. I think this one is a Napa or something. It's very smooth. And this is a limited edition. This is Vaquetta, which is also used on a lot of Louis Vuitton pieces. This is also Vaquetta here. Right? All this here is Vaquetta. It's the same Vaquetta here. Now, this is when Coach does leather. Okay, so I love Coach leather, right? I do. Um, so this is a limited edition from years ago. There's Vaquetta again inside. And then this one is lined in like... This is not a microfiber. I think it's like a... I don't know if it's like a micro suede. Um, but yeah. And then it had a cell phone pocket. That's how old this is. And it had, you know, another pocket. And it's zipped pocket here and it had like a key a d-ring for your keys um so this is like quality like up 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 this is the real coach quality um where they really pay attention to every detail i have this in two colors i bought at the time because back then i was doing multiples i had a lot of money to burn and um and i really liked this bag at the time they had made it in four colors i thought i was exercising restraint by only getting two the other one is i can just show you now since we're here it's a green one because you know i love green and they were just so ladylike and cute i think they were part of the hamptons collection or something and it was just hmm. anyhow so they're wonderful now when um louis does a, a limited edition it also will go ahead and this is a limited edition from about 2013 they will also pull out all the stops so like this one had vaquetta on the lock and and this one had like a microfiber on the inside another strap in there as well so like um you know they do the special things with the special pieces they do um so in that they're very similar um 
But again, you're going to pay a lot more for, say, this than you would this. And this is all leather, and this is canvas with a little leather trim, vaqueta trim, where this has vaqueta trim too, but then it has all leather inside is micro suede. So you understand? And you're going to pay a lot less for this one. Now, they both have repairs and servicing after the fact. Um, I think Coach has just upgraded it with this Coachtopia thing. I have yet to use that service, so I can't speak to it yet. But um, have I done any repairs with Louis Vuitton? No, I've only done a special order. I haven't done repairs. And I've done, obviously, the hot stamping, which I've done with Coach. And both can be done as you wait. Um... Do I have anything else to show you in terms of the comparison? No, I think we made it through. So basically, what I'm saying is, if you're going to choose between the two, it's not that one is so much better than the other. Um, I think they fit different scenarios, whatever occasions you have in your life, whatever you're planning on doing, um, whatever style that you want, you know, whatever you want to wear the thing with, how often you want to wear the thing. The biggest thing is like, the corners for the never full versus the tote. Um, that part is like, if that's a forever bag, which a tote should be, a never full should be, I would then suggest buying the never full um, instead of the coach. But then for like, say, the Lisa wallet, if you can find the same style in coach, I would go for it in coach because the Lisa wallet is canvas from Louis and it's about 10 times more than the one you'll find in coach, which is leather. So basically, between the two brands, I have no issues. I am not loyal to one over the other. I think you can pick and choose and mix and match and get what you like. And it's always great to save money. So if you can find what you want in coach, that's the way to go. Um, yeah, so I hope this video helped you out, especially in terms of if you're deciding between or if you want to. Listen, don't listen to the mean girls when they laugh at the coach bags. They laugh at Cheesecake Factory, too, and I think Cheesecake Factory has some really good items on the menu. Like, I think it's just about finding what you like and um, and what works for your lifestyle. Um, I will wear... See, I wear everything. I'm not partial, like which is kind of the problem because in real life I shouldn't spend so much on a lot of things. Um, but you know, here we are. <laughs> I just like a lot of things. Um, but yeah, so my position is, um, go with what makes your heart sing really. So if you really like it, if you, if, if it just jumps out at you, if it's something you really enjoy and you'll really enjoy using and you know that you'll get the longevity from it, go ahead. And if it's something that you think may not hold up well, I would reconsider it because I really don't like, uh, having to repair things. I really don't like having to, um, take it out of rotation, that sort of a thing. But if it works for you because you only want it for a season or one event or something like that. By all means get it as well um if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe have a great week guys